Cuisine Concepts. Visit us at cuisineconcepts.com. At ease and elegance with quality custom accessories like grates and floorboards, cockpit tables, companionway doors, replacement windows, hatches, tables, and more. See a complete line of our products at cruisingconcepts.com. Hi, Joe here with another how-to video on the Cruising Concepts Bexon Port Upgrade. If you have an older Catalina, you probably have a head window that looks something like this, old sliding glass window. And if it's like mine, all it ever does is leak. In fact, previous owners of my boat literally caulked the entire window shut. I didn't like that because I wanted some airflow. That stops the airflow. I've seen other people who cut a hole in the top of their head, add a a port up there, but that I don't like the idea of cutting additional holes in my boat and that just adds additional leak points. So what's the cure? A Bexon port upgrade from Cruising Concepts. Now it's 15 degrees here in Wisconsin so I won't be installing this in my boat, but many of my friends and relatives are heading down to Florida, they're snowbirds, to work on their boat, so I wanted to get the video out. You're going to see some, a combination of videos, a video I created earlier for installing the Cruising Concepts window upgrade and the installation instructions for the Bexon port. I hope you enjoy it. When your Bexon kit arrives from Cruising Concepts, you'll have these four components. You will have the acrylic window. Uh, you'll see here what I did is I made sure I had the beveled edge uh, uh, facing out and then I labeled the outside and down so that I install it correctly. I don't have to think uh, once I have the sealant on the back of it. I have the screws which will attach the Bexon port to the inside of the acrylic window and this is the external fascia which gets glued on on the outside of the Bexon port to give it that nice finished look. All right, now that we know uh, the parts and we have them labeled, let's take a look at installing them in the boat. I'm going to start the uh, Catalina 30 window replacement. Uh, per the instructions, we're going to remove the window uh, and check the fascia. So I'll be removing these screws and then we'll check the fascia, make sure that it fits properly. Okay, window frame has been removed. Now we're going to make sure that the fascia fits. It does. Fascia fits in okay. Uh, so now we have to start cleaning the outside. All right, I use a soft scrub and a scrubby first, get the uh, frame good and clear. Then I just used a clean rag and some water to wipe that all down, dried it with a nice uh, dry cloth, and then I used acetone to clean it up, and the frame looks pretty good. The so here's the frame, good and clean. Next thing I'm going to be doing is putting in the one and a quarter tick marks so that I know where to place the window. All right, so we've got some small pencil marks now all the way around the frame uh, so that I can put the window in and then trace the line. So that'll be next. Okay. So uh, the duct tape facilitates holding the window in place if you're alone. Uh, the tick marks right here and down here all the way around the frame. I take the ruler and I just uh, make sure that I have the same distance to all the tick marks and that puts the window in place so that I can uh, trace my line around it. Okay, got the line traced all the way around the frame. Now I'm going to verify that I have the three-quarter inch overlap. Make sure that I have uh, uh, ample space for the uh, Dow Corning stuff, and I do. So the next thing will be to tape it up so that I have uh, a nice uh, clean surface once I'm done. To get the, cor the tape around the corners, what I'm doing is uh, putting a little tape down, and then I'm uh, drawing a line on it and then cutting it out 
with uh, with a scissors and that gives me a nice clean edge. You'll see when I have it all completely taped up that uh, um, I don't have to worry about uh, getting this, the dowel corning anywhere. Okay, taping is done and as you can see we got, uh, because we cut it out, we got nice round edges. Goes all the way around the window. Um, uh, up here we have paper towel ready to set the uh, caulk down. I got the uh, spreader ready. I've got duct tape ready uh, for the window. So the next thing will be to uh, put the caulk all the way around and then uh, smear it to about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, at the same time, uh, I'm going to prepare down here the window. I like to have the windows upside down so that when I pick them up, they're prepared to go right up onto the boat. So I'm going to remove this uh, before I start caulking the outside. So once I get the outside caulked, I can come in here, lay my eighth inch bead, at a half inch all the way around the uh, the new window and stick it on and be ready to uh, uh, tape it and put sandbags in place. Okay, so I'm removing uh, the backing here. I'm doing it with gloves so I don't have any uh, oily finger residue left on the glass. I also have the, uh, the sandbags out here ready uh, to go. Um, uh, and next we'll start putting on the uh, dowel corning. What I found worked well for me was putting uh, two liberal eighth inch beads all the way around and uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, use the putty knife to flatten that out to a sixteenth of an inch all the way around the frame. Okay, it's been smeared now. You can see it's uh, nice and flat all the way around the frame. Next thing will be to put the, uh, the window caulk on. Okay, so the window's in place. I used the tape to hold the window up and I use the sandbags to hold the window against the uh, deck. Um, so now I have the sandbags and the uh, and the window in place. It looks like I have a, a good ooze coming out. Alright, it was liberal. So uh, let's go inside the boat check uh, check what it looks like inside the boat. You can see I've got a, uh, a I got it coming in so that means I have a good seal all the way around. Um, one thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here. I have a, uh, a little egg timer. I'm going to set that egg timer to one hour and then I'm going to continue to check to make sure that the sandbags haven't moved and the uh, and the window is uh, 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 placed properly on the boat at one hour and then uh, I, I'll probably just check it every hour until I go to bed. So. It's been several hours since the window's been put in place. Uh, um, uh, the, the, uh, I'm using a, uh, just a little plastic putty knife. What I find is if you drag it along the edge like this, and then you drag it along the edge like this, very uh, gently, the caulk comes off very... So here we are on the outside uh, of the window. Um, I just take the caulk, the, the, the putty knife, place it like this around the tape, and then uh, this way and you'll notice uh, it just it comes right off. So Now once you have your window in place, now I labeled mine to make it so that I made sure I did it right, uh, you simply take your Bexon port and uh, place it in the back and thread it in with the provided screws right from the back. No sealant is required on the back side which makes it really easy, really convenient. So that's my next step. Alright, so the uh, Bexon port is now affixed to the inside of the acrylic uh, via the supplied screws. I would recommend you have somebody on the outside of the boat um, pushing in when you're pushing out on the screws just to make sure that you're not uh, uh, pushing too much on the acrylic. Next step is to remove the uh, uh, backing that's on the front of the port and uh, uh, seal it from the outside and we're done. All right, uh, now that we're done installing the Bexon port, the next step, and again, I left the backing uh, on so that the person on the outside of the boat can uh, uh, push with opposite pressure uh, as the screws go in. Now all we have to do is remove this. Um, uh, the the uh, acrylic is nice and clean now for the uh, sealant. 
So we're going to apply again a liberal amount of sealant to the back and then we'll apply this right up here and we have a Bexon port in a boat that was not designed for a Bexon port.